Okay, this table is representing wind chill, which is dependent upon temperature, which is the actual temperature outside, which is across the top, and the speed of the wind, how fast the wind is blowing. So as we're trying to answer a few questions about this, what we want to know first is what's the perceived temperature when the actual temperature is 25 degrees Fahrenheit and the wind is blowing at 15 miles per hour. Okay, so we want to line up 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're looking at this column here and then 15 miles per hour. So along the left hand side we want to look at this row and figure out where do these meet up. So it looks to me like they meet up at 13 degrees. So when the temperature is actually 25 degrees outside but the winds blowing at 15 miles per hour it feels like it's only 13 degrees outside. All right. On the second part, on part B here, we want to suppose the actual temperature is 25 degrees. So we're looking at that same column um, and we want to use the information from the table to describe how the perceived temperature would change if the wind speed increased from 15 miles per hour. All right, so as we're looking at this, we, want to, we care about the 15 miles per hour, but we're going to increase it up to 20 miles per hour. All right, and we want to figure out how is that going to affect the perceived temperature. So we're going from 15 to 20, and we said it was 13 degrees perceived going up to, or going down to 11. So we've changed from 13 to 11, and that's going from 15 degrees, or 15 miles per hour, to 20 miles per hour. So we've basically kind of got ordered pairs here, right? At 15 miles per hour, it went along with 13, and at 20 miles per hour, it went along with 11. So I'm trying to find the rate of change. I'm just filling into the slope formula, like y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 to do this computation. All right, so how this works out, a little bit of simplifying down, we get 2 divided by negative 5, which is really negative 0 0.4. And let's think about our units. Um, the 13 and the 11, those values were temperatures, right? The perceived temperatures, right? Degrees Fahrenheit over, in the denominator, the 15 and the 20, these were the speed of the wind in miles per hour. So it's dropping right at that point um, about 0.4 degrees for every mile per hour of wind that that increases. All right, so I hope this helps out as you're learning about tables and partial derivatives. Good luck.